Welcome to another Baldur's Gate 3 video. I'm Bellagio. We are going to discuss money making tips in Baldur's Gate 3 and how you can make the most money every time you leave your camp. Here's my inventory after an average hunt of going out, looking for things, trying to complete some missions and side missions, and just coming back. What do we have? And what do I look for when I'm out in the world? There are a few common items that spawn everywhere that you can make a lot of money off of. One of them is incense. There is incense in every set piece in this game, every nook and cranny, dungeon house, burnt down house. I find this stuff everywhere and it's worth 30 gold per incense. For 0.1 weight, a lot of value for this. Another one is ink pots. You find these everywhere. I leave behind the quills. The quills are not really worth money, but the ink pots themselves, 30 gold a piece. Also paintings. You'll find paintings around the world. Maybe you want to use them to decorate your camp, but you can sell paintings and they are really cool. Actually, uh, these you might want to collect, but you can sell them. And then you have books, books you can sell and make a lot of money off of. You can find books everywhere and a lot of duplicates of books. Basically, always collect the books and sell them. Besides books, I don't have any examples on me right now, but silverware and fancy plates are worth a lot of gold in this game. You can have literal silverware, tinware, uh, all sorts of different fancy forks and knives that are all worth decent money. Another thing is jewelry, obviously, you'll find necklaces and all that. Weapons, you'll find a lot of to sell, do that. And when you're on these missions to make money, you want to just go out there and gather everything, literally everything. Then go to a vendor and sell it. Alchemy items and different decorative pieces are worth quite a bit. This is a separatory funnel worth 30 gold. They have Allen Binks worth 50 gold. And these things, as far as I know right now, are just decorative. And you can make a lot of money selling them. And that has been my secret for the most part. The plates, the incense, the books, those are a very core element to why I always have, on average, 500 gold to utilize. If you have an item that you're unsure of, just save it. For example, I've saved this shaft of a broken spear and head of a broken spear for a very long time. I just found out the other day that you can actually combine them, which I will do right now, and it makes the vision of the absolute. A very powerful spear, not in terms of damage, but in terms of the ability to blind its targets. Very, very good. Other than that, another way you can definitely make money and save money is the alchemy system of the game. You should be making your health potions. You should be making all your potions. I have not really gotten into this yet, but these are things that you definitely want to start making. And the more things you make, it unlocks more stuff to make. It's like that kind of system. You'll need to make suspensions in order to make other potions, for example. But these are worth like a hundred gold per potion. You can make, you could save a lot of money by making your own potions. So other than that, I think you will manage well. Keep your eye out for these items and any item that's worth a good amount of money when you are selling again. All these things can be worth a lot of money or even a little bit of money. If you need a little bit of money to get another scroll learned in your wizard's book or a better piece of equipment, you should be utilizing these tricks to get money. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out more than you know. Subscribe for more awesome game videos. I want to thank my Patreons and followers and people that share this video. Thank you guys for helping spread this channel. You guys rock. Thank you again.